Alright, looks like in the top left as the red Zerg, we are going to have Hoja playing for KT Rolster. In the bottom right, as the blue Protoss, we do have Mini for STX Soul. So we're getting a little bit of lag in the beginning. Every time this happens too, my stream just gets behind the actual stream. Because it just resumes. Oh shit. Oh! Oh, we're back. Oh man, I thought it wouldn't resume that time. I was freaking out. Like, oh my god. That would have been terrible. But now, now we're probably like a minute and a half behind the actual stream. Oh well, that's alright guys. Don't, nobody come and spoil like the next minute and a half, please. Please. Don't do it. I know you're tempted. Anyway, uh, we are on Untuned Valley, of course, uh, no horizontal positions, so Mini gonna scout. Top right, he's not gonna see anything, he's gonna be like, oh, okay, I guess we're cross map. In the meantime, the first Overlord is also scouting vertically. And... Do -do -do, Chrono boosting out those probes. What is Hoja gonna do? Spawning pool, perhaps? He's on 14 supply, he's saving up money, looks like it's probably gonna be a 14 pool from Sir Hoja. <laughs> Doing a flash face here. He's trying to be flash. Look at this. Flash been giving lessons on how to make ridiculous faces in the booth. Oh man, poor Hoja getting caught on camera at exactly the wrong time. Oh dude, I feel so bad for Hoja. Oh, that was embarrassing. I mean, you know, come on. We, we all make funny faces from time to time. But just to get caught on TV, it's just, oh man. Dude, dude, Hoja's gonna be like the next meme in the unimpressed Flash meme thread. I don't even know what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be Hoja with that face. Oh god, oh Hoja. Anyway, uh, looks like it is going to be a Forge Fast Expand for Mini. And uh, he's, actually, he's actually opted to get the Forge first. I mean, you can definitely go for the Nexus first against the 14 pool, especially in cross-map positions, but uh, it looks like he's just going to play it safe. Not going to do that. And there is the Nexus for Mini, and oh man, so we're doing some serious lagging here. That's not ideal. <laughs> Do I have anything open? Is this, is this like my fault? Have, am I like inadvertently running five torrents at the same time or something? I don't think so. I, I hope not. The prawns is not being downloaded at the moment, guys. I paused it for SPL. Like that, that is how dedicated to SPL I am. I actually paused the porn downloads just so I wouldn't lag, but it's still lagging though, so maybe I should just resume them. Is it actually Skype? It could be Skype, I don't know. Anyway, it looks like the uh, pylon there at the natural gets taken down, so he's taking that base now, but uh, of course he did already take his third as his first expansion. And there it is. Looks like a bit of a funny wall here. Uh, is that actually tight between the pylon and the forge? That looks like a pretty good big gap to me between the pylon and the forge, but maybe it just looks like that. I mean, you know, in Brew where you get, you know, crazy looking walls all the time, so I'm not really sure about that. Um, but anyway, it is kind of interesting that he has like two pylons as part of the wall. I think that makes him a bit vulnerable to like bailing busts and whatnot. It's like a little bit of a weak wall there, but it is a fairly wide ramp to have to wall in, so I don't really, I can't really blame him for that. Like, it's not very easy to wall that part, uh, wall on this map. In the looks like we have a first gas finish already, actually. That's a fairly early gas, but I think, so I think he's probably just going to go for some fast link speed. Uh, we're not that fast, but he's gonna go for link speed and then probably pull those guys off and uh, drone up a little bit harder. It uh, looks like the, uh, the observer just showing us the cybernetic score is a little bit out of range of that overlord, but of course, I'm sure he assumes that there is a cybernetic score uh, at least on the way, if not finished already. In the meantime, it's like uh, actually going for a stalker straight away, I, skipping the zealot it looks like. So it wasn't really concerned about any zergling, early zergling. And it looks like a robo straight away at the natural as well. So uh, just going for the fast robo, probably will get an obs out asaply, see exactly what the zerg's up to and decide what to do from there. Um, no third or fourth gas yet as we can see. Uh, the Overlord just moving in here to confirm that. Looks like the Stalker though might get an Overlord kill. It's going to be close. Uh, is he going to escape over that little thing in time? Uh, no, he 
doesn't get away, the Stalker does get it. I'm actually not even sure if you can keep an Overlord safely in that gap. I don't know if there's enough space there for the for the Overlord to stay out of range, but Stalker's gonna move back and, and try and wall this in. I'm pretty sure it's still not Link type though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Links can easily run into there, so... I mean, Minnie's kind of playing this slightly risky, like, y you know, if, if he would just decides to do a Ling Bailing all in or something, it would work amazingly well. He wouldn't even have to spend the Bailings on the wall, he could just run right in. In the meantime, what are these buildings? Looks like just a few gateways going up. There's actually a Warp Prism all the way, so it looks like, uh, Minnie's gonna try some fancy, you know, four, uh, Warp Gate plus Warp Prism her, uh, attacking here. Um, can perhaps, uh, you know, load up a few units, drop them on the high ground, start warping things in, and actually, as the Observer was just showing us, you can actually just force field that ramp going into the main base, and just, like, kill off the main base. Uh, let's see if he decides to do that. Looks like he's bringing one sentry, or, wait, what does he have in there? He's got one sentry and something else, actually. It's probably a second sentry. I think that would be the most useful thing. But yeah, he can just, like, do the infinite force field on that ramp, and then just kill the main base. And I don't know if, uh... If Hiva will be able to, or sorry, Hoja rather, will be able to stop this. Uh, meanwhile, the Overlord coming in here just trying to see what's up. But look at this, the gateways were smartly placed at the back of the main there, so they're not going to get spotted. Uh, but he's going to go over here to the natural line. And this is what I'm talking about, look at this, Speedlings running in. Actually, there were 33 Lings right now on the map here. Uh, and a lot of Lings now, the Lings in the main, but a lot of Lings actually running in from the natural once again. Oh my god, this is exactly why you need to make a better wall in. Oh god, the links come in, they're killing probes, they're scouting everything, they know exactly what's going on right now. Uh, here comes the War Prism attack, though, four zealots moving in to the third base. The Immortal might actually get taken down here, you might get the Immortal, the links are also attacking the main base, and there, no, it looks like he's actually just gonna drop on the third base. What is this attack? This attack is like, well, it's kind of working here, and it looks like he gets a nice force field off to trap the probes in the third base, but the probe is gonna come off an attack, but he's gonna lose his main nexus here. Oh my god, dude, Mini, learn to wall, please. I also need to learn to internets, because we're lagging at a pretty exciting time. Oh, is he going to save it? Is he going to save it? Force field it! Force field it! No, he doesn't get it! And by doesn't get it, I mean he doesn't save the Nexus. The Nexus gets taken down by the Lings. There were only like three or four Lings left there. And the Nexus gets taken down. This War Prism attack also has done basically no damage. I think Hoja has actually just secured the game very easily just because Mini is doing something weird. Oh, look at this, a hidden spire at the top right. Very, very cute move right there. He's dropping creep with the Overlord and, and planting a hidden spire there. Um, it's actually funny because I remember uh, a little while ago, like, you know, people were experimenting with this kind of thing, and I remember even Day9 actually talking about it in his dailies, like, why don't people try and do this, just hide the tech with Overlord dropping creep. Nowadays, I don't think I've seen something like this in any recent games, although, uh, you know, I've, admittedly, I haven't been watching that many games, but, uh, yeah, this, this seems like a pretty cool idea, and, and fairly easy to pull off. I mean, obviously, you run the risk of just losing a, a, a value valuable tech building um, if it gets scouted, but y you can basically just plant a, build a tech building anywhere you want, just if you have an overlord there. And, uh, are we dead? No, we're alive, we're alive. And it looks like Mini is barely alive, but not really. He's like, he's like zombie mode right now. He's basically dead, but he's not going to leave the game yet. He's retaking his main base, there's a changeling just chilling with his army. And when that spire finishes, are we just going to see like a bunch of mutalists come out? Whoa! Oh my god, we actually died this time. Oh shit, panic, panic, panic mode. Alright, alright, we're good, we're good. It's, it's fine, calm down, calm down, we are alive, ladies and gentlemen. We have minerals. Alright, sweet. So, looks like the Mutalisks are coming out, as predicted, plus one attack on the way for those bad boys, but I don't think they even need it. That is a lot of Mutalisks. That is 23 Mutalisks on the map. They're just going to start picking off these Stalkers on the edge. Look at that, he's doing some nice little Muta control here. Oh man, the Stalker sentries are just not enough. They have a Guardian Shield, but he's going to lose all of these units. Ling's at the front as well. In the meantime, he's picked off all of the sentries. He's going after the Stalkers. He doesn't even care, killing everything that Mini has. Mini's not leaving the game. He knows he needs to win this game to keep his team alive, but it's not going to happen, I'm afraid. KT Ro Rolster looks like they're going to redeem themselves a little bit for their losses against uh, Teammate and Air Force Ace here by taking down STX Soul. Another cannon finishes in the mineral line there, but there's no way near enough. So many mutas here. And GG from Mini! Hoja closes out the series. KT Rolster will take it. 
taking down the Brood War best of three, two to one, and then taking down the StarCraft II best of three, two zero. Congratulations to them, but don't go anywhere, guys, because we have another series coming up after this. Uh, I would say it's even, it's going to be even more exciting. It is going to be SK Telecom T1, the champions from last season versus Samsung Khan, the uh, uh, third place finisher from last season. So, although I think we're going to have like a really long commercial first because OGN always does that. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, the HD screen isn't back yet. I have it. Well, actually, I'm not sure. Let me, let me double check here. Let me double check. I'm also going to close Skype since apparently that is being accused of being the culprit here in my lagging issues.